Glock, raise your hand for the microphone. Jeff Glock from SBNation.com. Um, I, I heard your comments about the truck team, and then I think you made some in Daytona as well about how you were kind of misled about how much it would actually cost. Is, is it fair to say at this point that you're, are you supporting the majority of your team out of your own pocket? I mean, is that what's happened here with the lack of sponsorship? Um, I would say that uh, majority is a fair word. I think it's far above majority. It's pretty much everything. I mean, we've got uh, help from from Toyota. If we win, we have to win to get Toyota's help. Um, but, you know, as far as resources and stuff, Toyota gives us all the resources we can use uh, left and right. You know, we can go to their... Uh, their center in Salisbury and use their pull-down rigs and use their seven-post machines and use all that. Uh, Joe Gibbs Racing has given some help, you know, with gears, transmissions, and oils and stuff. Um, M&M's has, has stepped up and they they bought the rear t TV panel, and uh, you know for the season, so uh, that helps too. But as far as the the everything else goes, I mean, it, it's all out of my pocket. Is it painful? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know. You work, you work, you work your whole life to make uh, to make the money you make and and do everything you do and uh, to I mean to see it all I'm not saying I'm throwing it away but to see it all go away you know it, it's it's unfortunate because you know uh, what it all boils down to is if I get hurt you know if I get hurt and can't go forward yeah there's disability or there's this and there's that but I don't need to put my family in that kind of position you know that's the thing that's that's a bad idea so um you know i just got to stay healthy and keep going i see a local affiliate here in the blue shirt and then the gentleman in the center there with the uh, black cap kyle going off of that about injury talking about brian vicker's situation and um first of all how scary is that for you guys as a group of drivers and then second of all can you talk just about the idea of maybe being a weekend without seeing your car or seeing your car go out there without you in it and how hard that would be yeah i mean i can't imagine what brian's going through but uh i can presume it's pretty tough you know all of us want to stay in our race cars and and stay doing the job that we most love to do which is go out there and uh, and, and perform but uh you know as as far as how scary that is i mean it's it's pretty scary you could be living a normal life and all of a sudden boom something you know you feel a pain in your chest you go to the hospital and you've got clots you know and uh I mean, what do you do? You know, you got to fix your your health, and uh, and get and get back as healthy as you can uh, before you get back in the race car, and it's going to keep you out of the race car. So, um, you know, uh, it's just it's unfortunate for him, and I, I'm certainly glad I'm not going through it. But uh, we can all feel for him. Go ahead there in the center, then we'll come up here and get Jenna Fryer. Kyle Adam Thomas, National Speed Sport News. How do you feel like the uh, nationwide test went for you and Joe Gibbs Racing, and is there anything else that you feel like uh, NASCAR needs to work on for the car? Uh, I feel like our test went well. You know, I felt like uh, the Joe Gibbs Racing cars were, were pretty good. We were pretty fast. Um, cars are a little bit of a handful to drive, and, um, you know, as far as uh, would I recommend some changes, I certainly would, but NASCAR is not going to listen. It is what it is. That's pretty much the tone we got, so we got what we got. Jenna. Jennifer AP, um, can you address w what's going on with Brian Eichler? I know I talked to Emma and Joe, and, and they filled me in, and, and where that stands. And financially, uh, which is the bigger hit, the truck team or the wedding? Um, the uh, Brian Eichler situation is um, I brought him in to drive Billy Blue's trucks last year, and he, he did a good job. He had a couple, couple top fives, a few top tens, and uh, really liked – you know his feel and what he was doing and so I brought him on this year to drive my trucks and uh, threw him in the, the night before he was you know uh, the night before Martinsville he wasn't even supposed to race Martinsville did a great job finished third there and uh, ran fourth at Kansas and so uh, he's got a better average than I do right now in the truck series so um, you know he's done a really good job and what the truck series is is it's a it's a uh, grooming area to groom young drivers and to bring them up through the ranks so uh, Roush Fenway Racing called Eichler and asked him about um, you know what his deal was with me if he could get out of it and uh, and try to move on into the Nationwide Series ranks which uh, I have no reason to hold Brian Eichler back you know um, it's all for his best interest I feel like um, 
I've done what I needed to do to help him move on up. So hopefully he can make a name for himself and a place for himself over there at Roush and, uh, and do a good job. The remainder of this season, uh, we're going to have to work around our schedule a little bit and Roush's schedule a little bit to see what races they want him to run. Uh, right now, I think uh, he's slated to run Charlotte, Nashville, and Daytona, which Nashville conflicts with the trucks in Texas. So uh, we'll be putting Johnny Benson in the truck uh, for Texas and, you know, we'll play it by ear after that. We don't know what else, what other races Roush wants to run them in yet. What else for Kyle? Oh, the financial burden, the oh, wedding. the wedding. Um, the truck team costs a lot more. A lot. She's on a good budget. I see Brian over there and Pacris, and then we'll come back and get Jenna if she has a follow. Kyle, Brian Nelson with uh, Motor Racing Network. Last year in the All-Star Race, you kind of went in the... Uh, burnout competition you kind of gave everything a big huge cloud of smoke and I think even hit a couple of things what do you have planned for this year how much fun is it to be a part of that deal uh, it's fun you know it's kind of uh, uh there's too many rules in the beginning but uh I don't know what the rules are this year if there are any but it's just pretty much uh you know I remember watching the first year and uh whoever it was was going crazy knocking things over and everything and I'm like man he's having a lot more fun not following the rules than I did ha following the rules so uh, the second year being last year, I just went out and went crazy and uh, didn't care. And then uh, this year, we'll see if it goes the same way. Bob. Bob Parker, Steen Daily. Did you notice the patch at all when you were testing at Daytona, and uh, did it impact anything? No. No, I, I, I didn't even see it until someone brought it up. I'm like, oh, yeah, we patched the racetrack somewhere. So uh, I found it and um, didn't do anything, nothing. Jenna. No concerns there. Kyle, you mentioned Johnny Benson will drive the truck. Um, he's had a struggle since he lost the ride and then he had that accident. What led you to him and what kind of opportunity is this for him? Well, I mean, I wanted to put Johnny in a third truck if we could ever find the money to do it, you know, and right now we, we can't even find the money to do my truck. So um, I just told Johnny, look, man, if I ever have the opportunity, you know, I've made my word to Brian Eichler that he's going to drive this car and uh, if there's ever an availability, you know, I want you to be the first to know that you'll be in my truck. So here's the first available time, and uh, he got the call. So uh, I think it's a great opportunity for him, you know. I mean, I think we've got great equipment. Our trucks really run well. We're fast. And, um, of course, it's it's a Toyota, so him driving Toyotas is all familiar to us. And uh, I wish him all the best and hope he wins for us. Claire. Claire B. Lang, Sirius NASCAR Radio. will follow up on Brian's question. They actually have Pennzoil marks out there, uh, cones or something. They, you, you hit it, you get bonus points this year. So oh, I wonder what you think about that. That's perfect. That's exactly what they needed to do. Uh, I'm glad I brought them into thinking about it. What else for Kyle? Anything else? No? Kyle, thank you. Good luck this weekend. Thanks.